Hello everyone, this is Ross with Market Traders Daily and this is today's video analysis for June 4, 2020. Today we're taking a look at the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. Looking here at the daily time frame, not too hard to see that the trend is up. It's been moving up for quite a while, going all the way back to the middle of March. We made a bottom out low down into the mid to low 55, 055 area, uh, 055. 55, 30, 65, the blue zone down at the bottom of the chart. It's been moving up ever since. So, of course, the question is, how much longer will the trend continue? Will we see it continue? Will it reverse and have some sort of pullback or retracement? Well, I don't think we can assume reversal or pullback or retracement until it starts to happen, uh, until we start to see lower highs and lower lows. And right now, we don't see that. We still see higher highs, higher lows. The market continues to push in this direction. The USD continues to push lower uh, over the past several days. So I don't think there's any real good reason yet to suspect that this will turn around and go down. So I think with that, that means we must trade the trend. We look for opportunities to trade the trend with, with in mind that, of course, in every trade scenario, buying or selling, with the trend or against the trend, we should be using appropriate risk strategies in case the market decides to do something that we don't expect it to do. So the trend is up and we're looking for opportunities. Uh, those would be opportunities to buy into support or breaks of resistance. That's basically what we're going to look for. For our time frame, uh, you can see somewhat of a triangle pattern developing up here at the top of the trend between the two red trend lines. Some rising lows, some falling highs. Right now, we're in somewhat of a consolidation pattern as the market tries to decide. Is it going to continue the uptrend or are we going to see a reversal? Uh, and again, I don't think that question has been answered yet. Zooming in a little bit, obviously, uh, the best place to buy in the recent days has been the blue shaded area. That blue zone right here at the bottom of the red triangle, 0 0.688575. That's been the best place to buy in the past week and a half. Uh, you could have done it here, uh, and you could have done it over the past four to six hours. Uh, you could have bought into that blue zone. So that's the best place to buy it if you're going to trade, at least right now, trade in the direction of the trend. The other opportunity would be uh, I suppose staying above 0 0.69, that's the bottom of that purple shaded area is 0 0.69, 69.10 is the top of the purple zone. If it stays above, within and above that purple zone and begins to shift higher, that again would be an opportunity to buy it above the purple zone. Uh, and then of course a break above the green zone or the yellow zone would be the next continuation of rising highs and rising lows. And really, I think the only real reason to con contemplate selling is that we see a new low made under that yellow zone uh, at the bottom. And that's really the only reason I think we sell it. And I suppose you could have some speculative opportunity at the top yellow zone if you look for a double top or the green zone. Uh, where it has found resistance in this area here. But again, the trend is really what I'm focusing my attention on. You could even take it down even further, down to a smaller time frame like the one hour. And again, that's kind of where that red triangle pattern can be drawn from. You connect it with the last two lows here. Uh, you could even connect it with the current low and just see that we have rising lows, falling highs, and we're looking for that direction of the trend. Blue zone, really the best opp opportunity to buy it, but the blue purple zone is interesting. Getting above there targets back to 69.25.35 and then 69.60.75, the top of the chart. One thing I will watch is our volume indicator. Uh, right now we are at the purple zone with the volume indicator. We bounced off the blue zone. We're at the purple zone. So two things that I'm going to watch for on the volume indicator. Either it dips back down to the blue zone. We see it turn red for a period of time, come back to the blue zone, somewhat like what happened back here on the left hand side, comes back to the blue zone for a new buy opportunity. Or the other side of that story is it gets above, it moves above the purple zone dips back down inside the purple zone as support before making a new turn higher. So that might be the opportunity. Either it dips to the blue zone like it did back here, turns green and bullish and we take a long, 
or it breaks above the purple zone, dips on top of it, and then gives us the long signal for the Australian dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.